Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to Middle School Music Day 2023. We are so excited you are here tonight. Uh, before we begin, I would like to say a gunashchish to the first people of this land. We pay respect to those past and present who have stewarded Klinket Ani since time immemorial. We respectfully acknowledge the traditional first people of this land, the Sanya Kwan and Tanta Kwan. I'm Jamie Carlson. I am the music director at Schoenbar Middle School. Hi, um, I'm the music teacher at Ketchikan Charter. My name is Julie Cron. And uh, Music in Our Schools Month has been going on uh, and celebrated here with Middle School Music Day for many years now. Um, and we're really happy to have this tradition back and have Metla Katla with us here this year. The other two schools here, of course, are Schoenbar Middle School and Ketchikan Charter. Yay! So we have uh, three really awesome guest directors this year helping us out. For the jazz band, it's Roy McPherson. Yeah! And then our two high school directors here at K High are our guest directors for the band and choir, Trina Purcell and Matt Lenhard. So these students have had a really big day today, and I just kind of want to give you a quick overview. They all, after lunch, um, after lunch at school today, they jumped on buses with all their instruments and choir students with their choir folders, and they came to the high school, and they started large group rehearsals, their first time being all together for this event, um, rehearsing with our guest directors. Um, they rehearsed for two hours, and then they went straight from that into workshops and clinics that were taught by many fabulous, fabulous educators and professionals in our community that volunteered to um, teach those clinics. And I do want to mention those folks because we had some wonderful people here spending time with our kids today and it was just awesome to see some of the cool stuff. So I'd like to say a thank you to the clinicians that volunteered to teach workshops, everything from theater games to instrument specific classes to what else did we do? Dancing, music history, boom whackers, drum circles chords and composition, ukulele, uh, so many awesome, awesome opportunities. So I'd like to thank Roy McPherson, Chaz Gist, Jeff Carlson, Jolene Flom, Jillian Pollock, Elizabeth Nelson, Tora Zamora, Lalette Kissler, Jack Finnegan, Mike Cron, Paula DeAngelis, Austin Hayes, Lauren Gates, Kim Divelbis, and some high school volunteers that also got up and taught these kiddos today. It was really awesome. So thank you to those high school students that taught and led clinics today. Um, give them a round of applause. <laughs> We'd like to thank Amanda Schoolin, the Metla Ketla band director, who got her kids here, band and choir. So traveling over for this event, we are so excited to have Metla Ketla here. Give them a round. And then I'd like to just say a thank you to K High for letting us use this beautiful space and so much of their equipment today. They've been so gracious and supportive with all of our needs. I'd like to thank Cameo McRoberts, um, the culinary arts teacher here in Ketchikan. I'd like to say a special thank you to Melanie Cornwall and TSAS uh, for giving us drums to use and um, providing kind of extra support with instrumentation needs for our clinics. I'd like to thank Jillian Pollock and Howling for donating the ukuleles. I'd like to thank Miss Judy Green for being our piano accompanist for the choir this evening. A huge thank you to our parent volunteers. We had several parents show up um, early this evening to help prep and cook and clean um, so that these kids could eat dinner before they got on stage for you this evening. So a big round of applause to those parents. Thank you so much.
And a giant thank you to Mr. Felix Wong, who is live streaming this concert for us this evening. For those that can't attend, thank you, Felix. Last but not least, I want to thank the audience. We wouldn't have a concert if you weren't here, so thank you for taking time out of your evening to be here. We're so excited to make music for you. And thank you, students, for all your hard work. You are amazing. I can't wait to hear you play tonight. And sing. Okay, that's a lot of thank yous. Thank you, thank you. And I would like to welcome our first director of the, the jazz band, Roy McPherson. I'd like to thank and thank and thank. <laughs> um, We've, we haven't had much time uh, together, but these people are wonderful. And they get there at 7 in the morning for jazz band, and uh, it's a credit to their teachers that they get there, and it's a credit and thanks uh, to all of you who help them <laughs> uh, to get there in the mornings so that uh, they, can, they can do what they do. Um, I didn't, the, the three pieces we're going to do are quite varied. I didn't pick them, but I would have because I think they're excellent choices, uh, and they give them a chance not only to play three different styles, totally different, uh, the first being C-Jam C Blues, and we'll do these in order, C-Jam Blues, which is, is uh, you know, boom, ba doom da doom da doom that kind of stuff. Uh, then the second one is Latin, which is more this, and the third one is <laughs> a rocker. So uh, we'll do them in that order. Uh, CGM Blues was done by Duke Ellington. The second one, the uh, Masconada, was done by Sergio Mendez. If you're, uh, you may remember that name from a number of years back. Uh, and the last one uh, was done by, I think, War or one of those groups, but uh, uh, Arakaru. So I thank you very, very much. The only thing I will tell you, uh, in addition to Lily Padron, is going to play a trumpet solo, um, and uh, Carly Hedlund will play an alto sax solo in this piece. This is a great vehicle, uh, all of these, for these young people to begin to express themselves, uh, and they're doing a great job. So thank you, I, I love being here with these people. Thank you.
We have four solos on this one. Uh, Tristan Limerick on, uh, on trumpet. Carly Hedlund on alto. Isaac Langley on trombone. <laughs> and Gavin Bell on flute.
Hello? 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 Okay. okay. I don't... Is it on? Yeah, I think so. Hello everybody, my name is Emma House and I play baritone in the Schombard Jazz Band and Beginning Band. And I'm Sarah Reynolds and I play alto sax in the Schombard Jazz Band and Beginning Band. As you know, March is music in our schools month. So while we quickly set the stage for the choir, we would like to share with you some interesting facts about some of the many benefits of music education. Sarah, did you know that recent neurological studies have shown that playing a musical instrument is like a full body workout for the brain? A full body workout for the brain? Tell me more. Well, the act of playing a musical instrument engages multiple areas of the brain at once, especially the auditory, motor, and visual areas. And continued practice on a musical instrument has shown to help strengthen the bridge between both hemispheres of the brain. Wow, that's pretty interesting. So when I practice my saxophone, it's like my brain's at the gym working out. You know, my favorite exercise is a cross between a lunge and a crunch. It's called lunge. Yeah, anyway, musicians tend to have enhanced memory functions too. Because of the increased connection between both hemispheres, musician brains are more efficient at labeling, organizing, and retrieving memories. Awesome, that can come in handy with school studies. Yeah, and you never actually forget anything. You just can't find it. Just like my math homework. <laughs> sure. Did you know that research shows that listening to music impacts our emotions as well? First our brains, now our hearts. Yes, we've all probably experienced this. Often people feel happy when they listen to upbeat songs and sometimes feel sad when they listen to slower minor songs. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if, if members of our audience experience a variety of different emotions throughout this evening of live music. Well. It looks like the choir's almost set. Speaking of choir, how can you tell if a singer's at your door? I don't know how. They can't find the key and don't know when to come in. Oh. <laughs> With that, please give a warm welcome to our guest director, Trina Purcell, in the middle school choir. Good evening. This is our mixed choir um, from all three schools. Uh, very exciting because um, this is, I believe, the first time in history, Ms. Schoolin can correct me, that Metlakatla has had a middle school choir. She says yes. So we have some Metlakatla middle schoolers here, and then, of course, we have Ketchikan, Stonebar, and um, KCS middle schoolers. So um, I have had so much fun with these kids today. They came in well prepared. In fact, I tell them every year, and this is a compliment to them and to their directors, things get better and better. So every year they come in and I think, well, I'll probably need to talk to them about this and this. And then we go through the first piece and I go, well, 
great. Their teachers already taught them that. What do I say now? So good things are happening at the middle school level, and we love that because it just we have to step up our game up here. Um, they, they came in. They knew their music. They... Um, They've never sung together before. We were discussing how it's a little, it's strange. You're used to standing next to the same people and hearing the same voices in your ears. And we really didn't have very much time today. So threw them on the risers, make the best of it, smile, and have fun. So, um, and we have, we've had fun. And then just the buzz and the excitement all day long as they're going to their clinics and rehearsals and things is so exciting. So I love that we do this. They exhaust me. But, um, but I love that we do it. So we have four pieces for you. They're in a little bit different order from your program. We will do Pirate Story first. Um, the second one is, it's either Gallop or Galop. I'm not sure. But it says at the beginning, it's a lively round dance, not to be confused with a horse's run at full speed. But I think it will sound a little bit like a horse's run at full speed. So, um, so I've been calling it Gallop. Uh, a Distant Shore, um, which includes The Water is Wide, which is a piece that everyone in choir should sing at some point in their choral career. And then we'll finish with El Capotin, um, which, is in a, which is a song in two languages about how much everyone should be drinking coffee. So enjoy our mixed choir tonight.
Hello? Um. Hello? Okay. Hi, Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for being here tonight. My name is Olivia Trujillo, and I sing in the Schoenbar Choir. We are so glad you are here to help us celebrate music in our school's month. As the school group stage crew resets for the band, we would like to share with you some thoughts of, of our thoughts about why music is important to us. My personal music story started when I was younger with piano. When I was younger, my mom signed me up for piano with Miss Lalette. My, yeah, my teacher was Miss Lala. When I started, it was only for piano, but then I started singing with my piano. When I, like, first started singing with the piano, I was really messy, and I could never hit, like, anything, like, any keys, and I didn't know what anything was about singing. But then Miss Lala, uh, she really taught me how to control my voice, and I stopped doing it after a little bit, which I regret, because it was a really good training for my voice. But she told me that I should do the choir one day, and she was really a really like big inspiration for me to start choir. So like, I just wanna say thank you to Miss Lalette for being there and teaching me how to use my voice and also to Miss Carlson for being such a great music teacher and just teaching us everything we need to know and helping us with all these music songs that we have learned throughout the past year. My name is Piper Kasky and I sing in the Schoenbach Choir as a soprano. And music has helped me gain my confidence in not just my voice, but my personality. Before I joined Schoenbach Choir, I was very self-conscious of my voice. But after I was convinced to join choir, it has helped me gain confidence in not just my singing voice, but just my confidence in myself as well. And I'd like to thank, thank Sophia, because she was the one who um, encouraged me to join choir and inspired me to join choir. So I'm ever in debt to her to helping my confidence. Hi, my name is Lily Bracky. What, ins <laughs> what inspired music in me is my family. I grew up around music with singers all around me, and every generation in my family has at least one singer, and I just happen to be one of them. My best friends also inspire me, inspire me and they all know who they are. Hi. My name is Alex Jones. I'm from the SMS Choir and I sing as an alto. I just wanted to share why music is so important to me and what inspired me to join choir. I first, I thought choir was just an easy A. I, I have learned that choir and music in itself is more than just a fifth period. It's a community and a family. It's a place where there is no judgment. I have been in music through all my grade school years. Miss Jillian Pollock from HTE was my music teacher and one of my favorite teachers throughout my life. She taught me so much and for that I am forever thankful. So many people have helped me throughout my music journey. My family and all my music teachers, including Miss Jillian and Miss Carlson. Music is an international form of self-expression. Wherever you are in the world, music can be used to communicate stories, feelings, opinions, thoughts, and more. If we look back in time, the native people of this land and many others had beautiful dances that communicate a lesson in which we can learn from. Music can not only unite us from all over the globe, but also send a message to the masses. I love music. Music can have no lyrics, but still make people who have no connection on opposite sides of the world feel the same way. Music is all around us each and every day. It could be in the form of rain falling, someone tapping their feet, or even the sound of a river. In conclusion, music is a part of every day, everyone's life, whether you realize it or not. Music is a classical form of art and is such a fundamental part in our culture and society today. I wish that music will always be a fundamental part of my life. Thank you for this opportunity to speak and spread how important music is in my life. Hi, my name is Aaliyah and I am from the Schoenbar Choir. I originally grew up around music and I was inspired by my mom who used to sing to me when I was little. And for that, I am thankful that I grew the confidence to sing in front of an audience. Music also inspired me to sing because it's not just music, it's an art of sound 
in time that expresses ideas and emotions in significant forms through the element, element of rhythm, melody, and color. Thank you. We are also glad we, to have music in our lives. And we are so excited to share more of our middle school's music um, tonight with you on the stage. Please welcome our guest director, Matt Lenhard, and the middle school band. It's called The Dragon Lord. This piece was written by Randall D. Standridge, the first part of a series called Tales of the Dark Lands. Tales of the Dark Lands is a collection of short stories, or tales, told through music. This piece tells of the fearsome, mysterious dragon lord from the Dark Lands. He lives secluded in the mountains on the borders of the kingdom, and everyone knows that you'd have to be completely off your rocker to go looking for him. In this piece, we journey to see this great, terrible beast and witness his fiery rage.
Hi, I'm Matt Lenhard, and I've lost my voice uh, about 10 days ago. So. Um, this next tune is called Shenandoah, and it's best known as a traditional American folk song. And like many such songs, it springs from diverse cultures that made up early American music. This arrangement is, com is uh, composed by two stalwart composers of school band music, Michael Story and Robert W. Smith. That would, they did a nice job with that. Yeah. This next song is called Spirit of the Wolf. Wolves have a prominent status and are a sacred animal in many American indigenous cultures, often associated with characteristics such as courage, strength, and loyalty. This arrangement is by Michael Orr, and it'll begin 
with a flute solo by Kate Pader. the last song already. You guys did great too, audience. I've Miss Carlson covered a lot of special thanks. But um, I wanted to uh, give a, a personal thanks to the high school volunteers in the stage crew and the high school volunteers that instructed four of the clinics offered today. And uh, please give them a hand. And uh, of course, Jamie and Julie uh, left out some very special thanks, um, and so I'll I'll take care of that for them. I would like to thank our talented, patient, resourceful, and energetic music teachers at Schoenbar, Ketchikan Charter, Annette Island School District, and our elementary schools here in uh, in Ketchikan, Fawn Mountain. Tongas School of Arts and Sciences, Point Higgins, Houtling. I think I hope I didn't leave anybody out, but those teachers are amazing, and they did all the work to get us here. <laughs> and now. Make sure your seatbelts are secure and your tray tables are in the upright position. The, and the cabin is now secure for takeoff.
Thank you, everyone. That concludes our Middle School Music Day of 2023. Thank you for coming. Just a reminder to those students that have been living here all afternoon, don't forget your stuff. Make sure you get all of your personal belongings from the band room, the choir room before you leave. Thank you again.